Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Universe Mode. This is Peter Jow, and this is Peter Jow Games. We are chronicling, yes, the return of Curtis Axel. You know Curtis Axel the best when he goes on a social media rampage, kind of letting all of his followers know, all two of them, that, you know, where is Curtis Axel? That's exactly the campaign that Curtis Axel has been starting, trying to get people to get things going, get people talking about Curtis Axel. He's been claiming that he is better than perfect and that he is the son of Mr. Perfect and perhaps he thinks because of that fact he should be given everything. Well, here's his return to WWE television against the former WWE World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus. And now Sheamus taking it away. Look at this. Boom! Just killing him. But wait a second, Axel, right back into things, and he's going to go for the cover, and Curtis Axel would pull off quite an upset here. No. And Sheamus able to kick out. Sheamus, of course, on his way back to the top of the mound after, of course, losing, oh my, to Roman Reigns for the championship. Wait a second, that could be it. That's right, the axe kick by Sheamus. And I guess Curtis Axel's return is short-lived right here tonight on Monday Night Raw. This is Universe Mode, and we have quite a show for you coming up on Universe Mode. This is the first time, of course, as Peter Chow, that I've been able to kind of, you know, really work the gaming channel, kind of work this into episodic, uh, you know, episodes. Well, I guess, you know, well, Royal Rumble's two weeks away here. Uh, but we're going to the main event right now, and that is Roman Reigns taking on Bray Wyatt. These two men have been rivals in the past, and of course, both of these two men won great placement coming up on the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. If Roman Reigns gets the victory here tonight, he's going to be at the top of the totem pole. He is going to be considered a threat at the WWE Royal Rumble match just a few weeks away. But, of course, if Bray Wyatt gets the victory over Roman Reigns, he's going to be looking good in the main event as well. And look at this. Roman Reigns. Very nice technical match here for a false count anywhere match. And I kind of want to go into things a little bit here. A lot of people hate on Roman Reigns, claiming that he can't wrestle. But the thing is, I don't agree with that. Roman Reigns is a deserving champion in the real life storylines of WWE right now. Obviously, he's not the champion right here. He's vying for a spot in the Royal Rumble. He's taking on Bray Wyatt. He's taking on all comers. But in real life, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And people feel as if he's not deserving. I feel he won him back a few weeks ago when he destroyed Triple H at the TLC pay-per-view. And he continued his rampage on Monday Night Raw. Now, they didn't keep the momentum going. You know, they kept on saying, oh, you know, well, he destroyed Triple H at TLC. Uh, he had a great showing uh, on the following Raw. And then the week after, you know, after, you know, destroying Vince McMahon, uh, you know, really kind of getting into the face of Stephanie McMahon, the week after, he was all smiles again. He was all like, ah, you know, like that, just like smiling again. Stephanie McMahon was in his face. He was forced in a, you know, a situation where he had to cut a promo and, and really sound kind of a little bit like a doofus. I mean, no offense to Roman Reigns. He is, I find, to be a great worker. He is a deserving champion. But they keep on putting him into situations that make him look bad. Equals, you know, let's just say promos. Stuff that he is not really particularly good at. He is a badass. He is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. He deserves to just go out there. And that was a cool move, by the way, right there. Boom! Look at that. A, a chair, you're not going to see a lot of headshots to, to the head. Well, where else, I guess? But here comes Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns taking it to Bray Wyatt. And a power bomb here. Get into position, ref. One, two. I think that was a three count, but I could be blind, perhaps. 
Uh, but, but, you know, I think that, you know, Roman Reigns is a good worker. I feel that he is absolutely underrated. I feel that the only reason people and fans really hate Roman Reigns is because he was put in that position where they had Daniel Bryan inexplicably come back, tease that he was might be in the main event of WrestleMania, and then he ended up being in the Intercontinental picture, and then he got, you know, injured, sidelined, and, you know, ever since that bittersweet taste, that bittersweet tease of Daniel Bryan possibly coming back and Roman Reigns absolutely conquering him and becoming the, you know, possibly even the fact of becoming the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, everybody turned on him and it's unfair. Now that he is champion, people seem to be kind of grasping, you know, the beauty of Roman Reigns. You know, the power of Roman Reigns as he, as he, as he gets tuned up. Boom! Huge spear there. Wait, wait a second. No, Bray Wyatt did not. Oh, no. Wait a second. Here we go. Bray Wyatt countered that spear into a single arm DDT. Let's get a replay here. No, they're not going to show. Oh, wait a. What? And a cover to Roman Reigns gets defeated by Bray Wyatt, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. Episode number one of Universe Mode. There will be more to come as we count the weeks to the Royal Rumble.